Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and our Philadelphia 76ers in the fly old school spectrum jerseys on the old school spectrum floor, honoring the Wachovia spectrum. Capture a win, back to back good wins, of course, for our Sixers, as they were able to capture a win <clears throat> last game, excuse me, against the Portland Trailblazers without Embiid, and then tonight without Toby and without Danny Green, are able to capture a win led by. The great closeout game of Seth Curry, who continues to step up big at the end and early as four 20-point games this season, <clears throat> excuse me, um, w before w the even late into the season when last year he had 11 total in the entire season. Already four this year, so a great start for him. But tonight, our Sixers were really carried by the fact that George Niang really stepped up again and played great. Good start to the season for him. Seth Curry again had a 20-point game and again was a closer, along with Joel Embiid, who continued to impress. Had 18-9-7, and, and he also had a steal. And, of course, a great block on DeMar DeRozan at the end of the game there that was overturned. That was a brilliant play, meeting him at the rim and saying, just get that out of here. And then Ferk had five rebounds to go along with his 11 and made a three of his own. He was actually solid in today's ball game. And Matisse Thibel looked very good defensively, generating good defensive plays there and also had eight and four. And then he had three steals and two blocks of his own. So really played good in the defensive end, really looked good in the starting lineup because the Sixers have enough guys, especially when George Niang steps up and you have Seth Curry playing to the level he's going that can score the basketball, and then you have Embiid, obviously, as well, and then when Toby and Danny Green are in, they obviously factor into that equation as well, especially Toby, so you want to be able to have that guy that just shuts him down, and tonight's game, you have Thibault that made some big plays, obviously, the Bulls did get theirs, as you had DeRozan drop 37, you had Levine drop 27, but it doesn't matter, because the Sixers were able to get the win in the end, they limited the rest of their scores, they let Ball hit a three at the end there, but he only had a total of 13 points in this ball game. So, it it was a good game all things considered. That's just their two biggest players in DeRozan and Levine did get theirs, but the Sixers got theirs even more because they had Joel and Seth Curry who have been stepping up big all season, step up again in the absence of Toby. And then you had George Niang, you had Tyrese the ball or Max who continues to play great. And he's just so sweet to see at the end of the game when he just takes it and has that bulldog mentality to drive and get the basket like he did today over Vooch. So it's fun to watch him. He did his thing again. Thibel did his thing on defense. George Niang stepped up. Shake Milton still trying to get reintegrated here and coming off of being out. So he's still trying to get his feet under him and kind of get his basketball legs under him. So I didn't expect anything overly flashy from him, but he was solid with the 7-3-2, and two, still trying to get his game back and his feel back for everything. But this overall, very good game in response. You beat the Trailblazers, missing key pieces, and now you beat a very good Bulls team, missing key pieces as well. This is not the same old Bulls team. This team was, of course, 6-1 and one <clears throat> entering this game, the Sixers are now 6-2 six and two, along with the Chicago Bulls, and it was a great game by every key facet player you want to see, and continuing to see great success in that signing by George Niang, very good job by Daryl Morey there. So this has been a quick reaction, a 103-98 win for a Philadelphia 76ers, back-to-back -back great wins for a Philadelphia 76ers as they look to continue the success as they head out to Detroit to play the Pistons in Motown tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and let's continue the winning ways, Sixers.